Good morning and welcome to Farming Simulator 17 and I'm Andy and this is the Let's Play on the Agro OC map. So since last time I've been harvesting mostly so this is the last little bit of harvesting I need to do on this map and then I'm gonna go and take this back to our place maybe wash it off for this because this is done for this season and uh, combine that is and then I need to go and sell some stuff make some money if, if it's a good price that is um, sometimes I wonder why I keep playing on hard mode uh, but I guess I think that's because I find it slightly more realistic than playing on easy or medium mode uh, it does mean however that you have to struggle to make some money so if you play on easy mode you'll probably have an easier time than me When you back it up, it will, when you release the um, acceleration button, it does want to continue accelerating. So, oh. I thought it was going to... Uh, see there. And we'll back up here. And fill this up. It, I, I find that it took around almost three loads. I think when you fill it up it, it will leave around 300 liters left in the combine. You can see the thing there. So the thing, the pipe that is. Um, wait a minute, my daughter is yelling for me. It's interesting how you, how do you do when you need to find some time to record this, and what do you do with the kids? So I put the kids, or well actually they put themselves to work. They um uh, have like coloring pages of Pokémon's, and they are uh, filling those in, which is kind of funny. Um, but they were like calling for me because they needed help to write out uh, the print another that's empty let's go and put the beacons on this is I mean this is just horribly horribly uh, tight oh my god could get in there, so I should probably be able to get out. But I'm not even close to the middle, maybe that's the problem. Sorry. Um. Let's bring it up to our farm. We're gonna clean it off, and then we're gonna go and sell some stuff. We need to fill up the, the trailer though, because it's just third uh, third full now I hope you enjoyed the last episode when I had some help from the local police to go over to the farm with this one well, actually it has the I was looked down by the speedometer it actually shows the sp speed slow Kind of funny. Um, that's funny. That's not funny. That's interesting. Well, good. Maybe good is a better word. See if we can get around this corner. This was not the easiest thing to do. Um, neither was the. I don't think you would do that. See, 
I think we'll go in the other way. way. This is like centimeters on each side. I don't know how you would do this in real life. our washing place and then we're gonna bring it down here again to to park it for the season so I could close it a bit. close a little lid there on top of it I don't know if, if that's because you need some sort of otherwise you have some vacuum or something if you don't have that open I have no idea. I don't. I don't really know much things, that, much about combines. See, get it out. Do some pressure washing. We'll do the combine first. You can just do it like this if you want. Yeah, we have clean that way too. Yeah. Almost done. It's done. That is a header. Mm -hmm. Let's see there. Um, almost done. Then we're gonna go and try to get some some stuff. I, mean, I don't know if I actually showed you. I probably didn't show you that last time. Um, but we do put here, just straight ahead there, uh, this lid where you. Well, I showed you that on the first episode, I think. But there you, we put the, the grains. And we're going to get them out of there too. Quite bumpy. It's an interesting farm, but I mean, I mean, I guess most farms aren't built in that this region of the world anyway. Aren't built in a way they can easily access everything. This is shortcut. Shortcut. We could put the stuff up here too if we wanted to. I guess this is part of our farm. We don't own that field though. I sold that off in the beginning to make some money to buy some other fields. I could probably buy it back eventually. And, and I think I talked about this before, but in Sweden we have this thing called. Um, Ulrich's Fifth, which was sort of in the. Uh, I don't remember which century it was. Six, no, not 16, that's too hundred. 1800s? Late 18th? No, anyway, where we actually switched. We had this sort of system where everyone lived in a village and then they had lands spread around the out outskirts of the village. And then we changed it, everything. So it sort of moved. Um, everyone got their own farm and built their own farmhouse and they got land ad adjacent to that farm, basically. So we switched it from this sort of village system. So there's, there is hardly any villages in Sweden, not in the, the French or uh, uh, English style <coughs> setup where you have villages. We pretty much basically have just farms spread out on the in the countryside. And that's because the that shift. <coughs> mm, the idea being that we would bring all the farms, the farms would have all the the patches of land together, rather than having to go between them. It's a pretty good idea. It worked pretty good in Sweden, at least. I'm gonna put this one on. It makes it e slightly easier to.
easy to transport everything. Or easy to turn actually. Gives it a little, little more weight in the front. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this up with wheat and then I'm gonna check out where we're gonna sell our wheat. So in order to get it out we need to go here and press the right mouse button, we'll get a pipe out. pretty good actually. So the uh, trailing holds 13 feet 5 which isn't a lot but it's a small farm so Check out where to sell stuff. Let's see. Um, best wheat. So best price for wheat is four forty-five. As I growl, well, you put it there. We'll notice on the map where it is. So that's I growl. How do we get there? I guess we have to go around everything. Well, that's by the this shop. I guess. We have apples up here, we should go check that out in cedar cedar. But we need probably need manure to get apples growing. And water. Water and manure. We don't have manure so hmm. We should go and check it out, I guess. I will do that eventually. Put some beacons on. So I growl, sell some wheat. And then we just have to sell, I uh, have to, we should sell the um, soybeans too because they bring out a little bit more money into our version. We didn't get a lot, we, I, not even a trailer, I think. Almost a full trailer, but not not an entire trailer of oil. Oh, oil seed. Sorry, soybeans. Um, but uh, we'll see. Oh, sorry. It doesn't go fast when it's full. It's not the most powerful tractor around, but it's, it's enough for our operation. A bigger tracker would be a waste of money and probably power too. We could get a slightly less trailer that is smaller if we wanted. Just get the tarp on here to keep our wheat protected from the elements. So we did actually. I'm gonna, we have 13.5 here, and we have let's see 31,000 there. So we did get quite a lot of wheat out of our field, our two fields of wheat. Got 7,800 of the soybeans, so not a lot, but that will bring us almost 8,000. This will be bring us slightly less. Not less than eight thousand, but it's like less than what was it, four fifty, four forty-five. So this will probably put it into uh, into uh, black numbers instead of red numbers, which we're minus now. So with this level, probably be plus again, slightly plus, not a lot. So on some on some maps there's a function that or auto when you when you turn on the turn signal and then 
turn and straighten out again and it will turn it off like in a regular car in a regular tractor i guess and um, but on this map it doesn't work i don't know if that is there is that's a script somewhere or i know on the hofbergman map yeah, there is a script uh, if i'm not sure if it's a script but on the hofbergman map it does that by default so i think it has something to do with the map setup Not a good place for overtaking. Well, we're going to turn up here anyway. So it did, did take me about two hours or so to harvest our three fields. Not too f too long over time, but it was a bit of a work. But I enjoyed it. It was kind of fun. I watched. I think I had some YouTube clip going on on the, on the screen, and and just spent the last night, last evening, doing that. Uh, last evening, I mean Saturday evening. You're gonna see this Thursday, I think. But I did actually. You sell manure here, or do you actually pick up manure here? If I could pick up manure, that would be very good. Should get a, a bucket for this one. Here's big and green. I don't know what the big and green thing is. What is this green thing? Hmm. So disappeared, I think. Take off the tarp. There's some potatoes there. Do you sell potatoes there or do you get potatoes there? I have to buy a bucket, I think. Okay, so six grand for that one is pretty okay. I will decrease as we go and get further loads of it, but still. It's pretty good. We'll have to uh, leave the fork by our old place and we'll buy a bucket next time we come here. We'll try to see if we can get some manure into that um, because then we could probably go and leave that at the orchard I think we'll do that we'll, we'll go and get another load of I have, to, I have to check something could I does it work with this weight no, it, it well sort of works driving. <coughs> I should have slowed down and looked into the corner before just going in there. It's a good thing I don't drive, I've said this before many times, it's a good thing I don't drive a car as I drive a tractor in farming simulator because that would be horribly dangerous. Uh, that's probably why I keep hitting things too. I wonder why the French cars here don't have license plates. <laughs> think you're driving too slow. I think you're driving too slow too. Uh, I wonder why the fork is such so dirty up in the air the entire time sort of weird <laughs> but <laughs> interesting interesting uh, let's see let's leave the fork and we'll bring another load of well we'll see we might bring, well i'll guess wheat in case we think that well maybe we can sell and the soybeans there too just go and we'll check out, check out where to sell the soybeans Then we'll see if we can get some manure back on the uh, another way. Or maybe that's the cell point for manure too. Could be that, of course. Or you could buy manure. Maybe you could make, can buy manure on this map. I'm 
pretty sure I didn't put that seed in there. No, that's weird. I don't know. I didn't put that seed in there. I have no idea why it's there. So let's go fill this up and then we'll go and sell that to you. Just say where the soybeans are. If we're going to do soybeans now or if we're going to do another load of wheat. I think we have like four or five loads of wheat. I think. Mm? Oh, snake tree. Yeah. Um. Okay. Agora is there. I should go to Agora first. Wait. Bye. Be right back. Wanted to show me uh, some what was it? Minecraft thing. So sorry beans, we'll go load that up and we'll go sell that. Because that was close by. It won't take too long. We do have quite a lot of equipment which is meant for grass. Like making hay and stuff, but well, not a lot. We have a tether and a mower, so maybe we should use that. Maybe not. I don't, it doesn't matter. I don't have to feel the grass anyway, so we wouldn't have to buy one of those first when we don't have any money for that. So. So refuel our tractor, but we don't need that, so we won't do that. Um, that's well, you know the place because we went there and tried to refill the little thing we had on the front there. And it didn't work. I'm not sure why that didn't work. I haven't figured that one out. If you, if anyone knows why it can't fill up, or if it's just that that place place in the map, or I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments section. Because that would be really appreciated if I knew what was wrong and why it doesn't, didn't work. This is a there's a green thing there in the sky. Oh yeah, ah, oh, I'm such an idiot. Sorry, it's because I put it on the map. I marked it as the place to go, so that's why the green thing is there. Of course, I was like, I wonder why this is. It? I haven't noticed this before. It's weird, but that's because, well, sometimes I'm an idiot. So, well, I'm not an idiot. I don't think I'm an idiot. I hope I'm not an idiot. But um, sometimes I don't think things through, as I guess most people sometimes don't think things through. Yesterday, which is Saturday in my time and a few days ago in your time, <coughs> I had this big, big demonstration in Gothenburg. A bunch of Nazis. And they are Nazis, then I'm not like exaggerating. No, it's not like a point of view thing. They are Nazis by the, their own accord. Um, we're demonstrating in Gothenburg. And the police sorted out pretty good. They wanted to go a route, they didn't go that route because there were so many protesters against them. Which I think is good. I'm sorry, I don't. In a democracy, why am I supposed to empty this? Oh, it's up there, sorry. Um, as a problem with democracy, can a democracy allow all sorts of opinions? Instinctively, instinctively I should would say yes, it does. Um, but then sometimes, it's so weird, can a democracy allow view, views and opinions that are about dis dismantling or... Well, can a democracy allow 
the idea of uh, not having a democracy. Eight grand, eight point two. That's pretty good. That's good. Good, good amount of money. Uh, and I have no idea. I don't know. It's a hard question. Instinctively, we say I think democracy should allow, or freedom of speech rather. It doesn't. It's not exactly the same thing, but it's an integral part of democracy. Is in my point of view, freedom of speech. But the problem is, can freedom of speech really? Can you allow all thoughts of accompanied by that? Well, all thoughts, of course, because we can control what people think. But all expressions. Can you have a group of people that want to uh, have a dictatorship? Or a non-democratic society can a dem democratic society allow their their opinions to be open uh, aired? I don't know. I'm not smart enough person to to have a stand on that, but it's it's a dilemma, I think. So anyway, that was most of the news yesterday about this protesting or a few hundred Nazis. So there's not not a huge amount of Nazis. Problem is that they uh, they disrupted society. Well, basically the whole town was not the whole town, but the, it cost a fortune for the police because they had to bring in police officers from all over the country, which meant they couldn't do other stuff, which they probably should needed to do in their own parts of the country. So I don't know, very expensive thing. Sweet. We'll do another load of wheat. It's funny though, the animation goes straight through the trailer. It does fill up, so it's good. I go sell this and buy a bucket. Because I don't think no, we don't own one bucket, so should go buy it. So this episode will might be slightly longer than otherwise. I'm just curious as, as to if we can buy some manure. Oh, that's what I'm wondering. A lot of oomph to get going. This tractor. Probably have a tractor around 200 horsepower. This is, I think, 163 because I chose the bigger engine on this. This one. Sorry about bumping into the microphone. Um, if you heard that, I heard it. I don't know if you heard it, but I bumped into the microphone. Sorry, if you heard it. Otherwise, never mind. <laughs> or something. Uh, this is not going very fast, is it? 27, 28. By the time we get up to max speed, it will be time to break. Because that will be by the in intersection up there. 33 kilometers per hour, 34. Whoa, we're flying along here now. Uh, maybe flying is not the correct word. Maybe it's the opposite of the correct word. Well, we'll be flying when it's time to break. 40 kilometers per hour, 41, yay! But we're pretty much there. So 41, 40, 41, that's where the up, uphill. Turn on to the right here. Should I follow? The traffic rules, speed, speed, and other stuff. Sorry, it's kind of hard. You have to have to be quite far forward to see the inter intersection, and then the car stops because they think I'm gonna drive into them or onto the road. So here's seventy. I don't know how. How could we 70 kilometers per hour in this road? It's probably correct. I mean, a long time ago when my brother and his wife lived in, in Dublin, Ireland, we went there a lot, and so and sometimes I rented cars and went into the countryside, and you could have this really, I mean, 
these sort of roads, really narrow roads, winding roads up and down hills, and they were like 100 kilometers per hour speed limit. I was like, there's no way in <laughs> that you would ever get up to 100 kilometers per hour on this sort of road. So, and I was like, why is it 100 kilometers? But it seems like more standardized way, standardized speed limits and in, in, in the countryside a lot of the time it was 100 kilometers per hour. Well, that was my impression, so I might be wrong, but my general impression was that it was, you could drive pretty fast on a lot of, and then suddenly you had a road that was like lower speed limits, and you can really understand the difference because the road was basically the same, it wasn't a, like a village or something, it was just lower. But interesting, uh, always interesting to drive on the other side of the road compared to where I live, we would drive on the right side of the road. Um, <clears throat> you had to think a lot, especially going into um, roundabouts. So the roundabouts were that w that was probably the biggest problem. And I kept hitting hitting my hand on the door because uh, when you're gonna shift gears, I shift with my right hand, and um, of course, on the right side of the car, on the, and if you if you drive on the left side, is a door. So I kept hitting the door. Five, eight, nine, seven, so slightly less than last time, and that's to be expected, of course. I'm gonna see if this works. I don't know if it's possible to get get it. But we'll we'll take off the trailer and we'll go and buy a bucket. We don't even need to shut the engine off. Let's see front loaders and bucket. So that's a universal bucket. Probably that's one we'll use. Yes. I would love to buy a creamer. That's such a cool, that's such a cool thing. But we we'll probably won't afford that. So this is slightly unrealistic with the front weight there. Sorry about that. Just wanted to try it out. See if I can buy manure. That would be interesting. Can I buy manure? No, I cannot buy manure. Otherwise, that would have been great. If you want to have some apples in the apple orchard. Ah oh well. What should I get then? Maybe I should have pigs. What sort of animals should I get? Oh, sorry. Got myself in a sort of tight spot there. should probably go and get I don't know should I buy pigs pigs produce manure and I can buy bags of pig food so which I so I just need to give them water so we need in that case we needed water and buy pig food which you can buy so that's pretty easy maybe I should get some pigs How much is a pig Then I need to buy a water trailer too, so I won't be out of debt. Mm, think about it. Would be kind of cool with the orchard the apples, but I need and I need some way of collecting the apples too. Well, I can just do that by hand, of course. Um, suddenly it got, got all complicated. If we could buy manure, I could just. Because I, if I was a real farm, I could buy manure. Pretty sure I could get someone to sell it through me. Even though they probably use it on their own fields. I don't know. Well, I'll think about it. 
Okay, anyway, thank you for watching this slightly longer episode than usual. Probably no one left, left looking at the end, but if there are. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment, or share. So I hope to see you next time on the Agro OC map. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. I'm going to try to pause the recording.